Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we're taking a look around this 2021 Beneteau Antares 7. This is a very highly specced example of the Antares 7. It's only got 17 hours on the clock as well, so it's almost indistinguishable from new. Fitted with a Suzuki 150 horsepower four-stroke outboard. It has a bow thruster, electric anchor windlass, extended camper canvas package, has all the exterior cockpit seating and cushions. It has a Garmin chart plotter, VHF radio, uh, the comfort package, the upgraded galley pack with the cooker and the fridge. Uh, and it's complete with this twin axle road trailer as well. So it basically has like almost every option on it. And we were delighted to get it in for sale. We're going to take a walk around the boat now. We're going to show you the condition it's in, which is new. We're going to show you all the features inside it. And we're hopefully going to help you to figure out whether the Antares 7 might be the boat for you. So the Antares 7 is nominally a seven meter boat, but if you're doing a bit of research online, it's a bit confusing. You can find like three or four different lengths specified for it. But as far as I can tell, the hull length is 21 foot three inches, but the overall length of the boat with the swim platforms and the outboard sticking out the back and the anchor roller sticking out the front is 24 foot six inches. So your marina is probably gonna charge you based on a length of 24 foot six inches. It's got a beam of eight foot four inches, a fairly modest draft of uh, 0.8 meters with the outboard down, 0.4 or 5, I think, with the outboard trimmed up. And it is the biggest Antares boat that you can legally put on a trailer here in the UK. Um, I think the all up towing weights are in around 3 ton or slightly under. So you can easily put it on a trailer and tow it around with you, which means that you can store the boat at home over the winter or get it into a shed or you can easily take it to new cruising grounds as well. And this one is being sold complete with this brand new Mechanorum trailer as well. It's a 2021 or 2020 trailer. Um, so this boat was sold and first sold to its one and only owner in uh, September, 2020. Um, and it's had only really one season's use. And with only 17 hours on the clock, it's not even running yet. So down along the port side is obviously in beautiful condition. It's got the optional extended swim platforms back here on both the port and starboard side. Lovely Beneteau badge. It's got a little tank vent in here. Nice graphics as well, the Antares 7 graphics. It's got an aluminium rub rail with the PVC insert. Nice high guard rails. And just a very stylish looking boat. I quite like the way they've uh, done the little overhang at the rear of the wheelhouse. And that little black graphic as well ties into this little accent on the hull side. This one's been anti-foiled in black as well. So it is a very smart looking boat. Although this boat has um, been sold with a trailer, it has probably only been launched and recovered maybe once or twice in its life, so no trailer scuff marks. Um, we've got this nice stainless steel anchor roller at the front with this 10 kilogram anchor. This boat's obviously, uh, it also has the electric anchor windlass, so launching and retrieving that anchor is a breeze. The starboard side of the hull is also in immaculate condition, just like new. Really nice shine to it. Graphics are all in good condition. Coming all the way back. Um, one little scuff here, actually, in this graphic, maybe a fender or something caught it. But other than that, the rest of the boat is like brand new. It's a 2021 hull number in this boat, even though she was delivered in 2020, but it wasn't launched until, it wasn't delivered till September time. So that's why she's got the 2021 hull number. Again, this nice extended swim platform with a folding uh, four-step stainless steel board and ladder, so a really deep board and ladder. This stainless steel handrail makes it a breeze to get in and out of the water if you are swimming off the back of the boat, or you could even use this boat for a little bit of water sports for the kids. That 150 horsepower engine gets it up on the plane quickly and runs right up to in and around 30 knots. We are gonna do a separate sea trail video to show you exactly how this boat performs on the water as well. A couple of other things to point out back here. This boat has the shore power system installed, so you can plug in your shore power here, and it's got an onboard battery charger and a few sockets. We've got our fuel fill point there. Nice walk through into the cockpit. Uh, we'll jump up there and take a look now in a wee minute. It is just as nice below the waterline as it is above. You've got these deck drains here on the port and starboard side, these stainless steel deck drains with non-return valves in them. Um, so any water that finds its way onto the deck of the boat will bail overboard. We've got a transducer for our Garmin uh, chart plotter and fish finder here. And then the outboard itself is in absolutely immaculate condition. It's fitted with a three blade stainless steel 
prop. It's a 19 inch pitch prop. What brand? It's called a water grip, Suzuki water grip prop. And uh, yeah, the engine obviously only runs 17 hours. So, you know, it's not even running. These things aren't due their first service till 20 hours. So literally has done almost nothing. And it's been sold complete with the balance of its manufacturer's warranty as well. War was obviously only registered for warranty in uh, September, 2020. So should be a few years warranty left on it. So standing at the transom and looking forward, you can see that the wheelhouse of the boat is offset to port. So that means that you have a wider walk around up along the starboard side than you do along the port side. Now you still can walk up the port side, but you've got an extra few inches on the, on the starboard side, making that the natural side that you're gonna walk up. Um, but that wheelhouse gives great protection to the aft cockpit as well. And this boat is specced with the optional U-shaped seating arrangement back here also. So if you do have passengers sitting out here, whenever the boat's underway, they're gonna get great protection, great shelter from the wheelhouse. I think this, this st style and size of boat is ideally suited to the coastal waters around Ireland and the UK here. Perfect for the type of weather we get where if the, the weather does turn against you, you just step into the wheelhouse, you can slide the patio doors closed. If you are spending more time on the boat or so you're staying on board, this boat also has the full camper canvas package. Now I did take a separate video with the covers up, so I'll show you that now to show you just what the covers look like, but that obviously extends all this space and makes it full liveaboard usable space, even if the weather does turn against you. But the cockpit itself has a nice layout. It's got these U-shaped seats around this oversized teak table. So you'll easily sit four or five people around that table for a picnic or a meal. The beauty of this arrangement is that it's all totally configurable to, uh, to your taste. So if you, if you're, say you're fishing off the boat and you want this whole back deck area clear, you can easily remove the table, remove all the seat cushions. This box here as well, see this is a removable box. All these cushions are clipped in, but that's a removable box with storage in there. So there's a pile of storage in there, but you see that little thumb turn, thumb screw? You can unscrew that one and unscrew this one, that little black one down there. And then that whole box removes. So you can take that out of the boat, keep it at home. And that gives you a, a whole lot more deck space. Um, now this seat here does remain in situ, but there is a little pocket down in there. That whole box removes and you get a whole big open plan rear deck area. This seat backrest also slides forward so you can trim the outboard fully up to get it fully out of the water so whenever you're storing the boat or you're not using the boat sorry i should say in the marina you can trim the outboard fully up and it gets it completely out of the water so you get your engine well down in there this is a nice stainless steel handrail stainless steel cup holders on this boat as well um, and then whenever you're underway you can slide this back and you can lock it in position these bolts so that it doesn't move whenever the boat's underway um, this boat also has, you'll see these little uh, slots here where you can put a little frame in and there's filler cushions so you can make this whole area up into a sun pad as well. Again, that's another option that this boat was fitted with. Manual bilge pump handle down here. We've got this little closable transom gate so you can keep kids and pets and things in, in the boat. Um, you've got a transom shower here. Freshwater transom shower and we have a lined and drained storage locker underneath there, which is perfect as a bait well or a live well or even just an ice box or something. A couple of rod holders in the gunnels on port and starboard side. We've obviously got the covers stored in this bimini frame at the moment. A little LED light in the overhang so you can illuminate this area after dark. We've got our gas locker here. This, boat, this boat's fitted with the optional gas cooker. So that's your gas bottle. We've got our water fill point here. Loads of stainless steel handrails placed com conveniently throughout the boat. And then we'll walk up forward here up along the starboard side onto the foredeck. Nice Bennett tow barge. Again, big stainless steel handrails along the cabin roof line. This is a sliding uh, roof, open and roof section. We've got our VHF antenna nav light there. Really wide side deck actually. This is a waste suction point. This boat's fitted with a holding tank as well. 
and then a nice big spacious four deck so very flat all the surfaces are all molded non-skid so you can safely make your way around up here you could throw down a couple of tiles and sunbathe you could fish from here and if you're just making your way forward to operate the anchor that's also convenient to get to so huge big anchor locker remote control plugs in there electric lumar anchor windlass makes raising and lowering the anchor a breeze some dock lines and fenders in there nice big chunky aluminium cleats everything's in beautiful condition just like new and it's all very well put together nice big sturdy hinges and stuff like that windscreen looks very smart twin wipers in this boat and then you've got that walk around side deck down along the port side as well just a little bit narrower but you can use it so the walk around makes it very easy to, to berth the boat it means that you can get out and manage your lines and fenders very easily and uh yeah just makes it a very easy boat to get around stepping into the wheelhouse then we have a fairly typical layout for this style of boat but a clever little passenger seat arrangement that we'll show you now in a wee minute but basically you've got a dinette on the port side that's big enough to accommodate four you have a nice central companionway you've got a little compact galley on the starboard side just behind your helm seat and then forward of that you've got a v-berth arrangement and a enclosed toilet heads compartment in front of the helm um, so it's very very spacious wheelhouse uh, nice bright upholstery walnut joinery contrasts it um, this boat has the full curtains pack as well these nice sort of graphite gray curtains and um, sliding windows on port and starboard side um, and it just it's like a brand new boat smells like a new boat looks like a new boat has hardly had any any use whatsoever so the dinette is nice and comfortable the table is set at a nice height so it's easy to get in, uh, slide in and out past the table. Um, there's probably room for another person or a kid to sit beside me and then you've got a slightly wider bench at the aft end of the wheelhouse. Um, and a huge big table. Again, all walnut effect joinery matches all the rest of the cabinetry and floor panels and stuff. There's storage down the side. So you've got these storage bins. We've got some of the curtains and stuff stored down in there, down along that port side. Um, all the upholstery is this l a very nice sort of bright cream almost white just off white fabric which matches all the exterior upholstery as well this seat backrest is removable there's a couple of stainless steel brackets here you can pop that out if it's uh, if it's not in use and there's a uh, storage underneath here as well it's a big storage locker in there you've got your battery isolator switches which are easy to access here we have more storage underneath this floor panel as well. You can access that storage bin there. You've got a 240 volt socket over here. And then the other thing that you could do is you can drop this table down. There are filler cushions in here. You can fill that whole area in and that makes this whole area up into a double berth. So you've got this area as a double berth and also the V berth up forward as a second double. So you can theoretically sleep four inside the wheelhouse and on this boat because it has the optional um sun pad cushions out here with the covers up you could even sleep another two people out there so potentially you could sleep six people in this boat now it's going to be pretty cozy but you can do it um one of the complaints that we we always get whenever we have an older model of the 680 or the 7 to sell is that it tends to have just a fixed dinette so your passengers can't sit and face forward but they did correct that on more modern boats and this one is included so this seat backrest here you can pop it out flip it around and face it the other direction so I'll just do that now to show you how that works so you can literally do that in about 10 seconds lift it up flip it around and now you've got a forward facing double wide bench seat where your passengers can sit and look forward whenever the boat's on their way this little cushion here removes so just pop that up there and then you've got a footrest molded in, molded non-skid footrest. You got a little handrail here, a couple cup, cup holders, and a wee dash area for storing odds and ends. So I'm sitting here. This is my eye line. You've got great visibility out through the screen. You can easily turn and talk to the helmsman as well. And it just means that 
whenever the boat is underway, you can have your passengers sitting up here watching where they're going and somewhere to hang on to as well. So that's quite a clever little design touch and uh, definitely a big improvement over the older boats. Having a look at the galley then, um, let's flip the, you slide that little bolt out there. You can fold this seat forward, the helm seat goes forward. So it gives you a bit more countertop space. Actually, let me just do this. So yeah, so you can get the helm seat fully forward. Gives you a bit more countertop space. We have a nice little sink in here with pressurized cold water. We also have this single burner gas hob on this boat, which I think it also doubles up as a bit of a cabin heater. With that hob on, you'll be no time at all heating up the cabin of the boat. We have storage underneath that in here, and you've got your battery charger down in there, and also your circuit breaker for your main shore power panel. We've got a isotherm fridge, 12 volt refrigerator on this boat as well. These are all options that don't come on the standard boat. So the fridge, the cooker. Then we've got storage in underneath here. Quite a big storage bin. Another wee storage area here that's got the remote control for the windlass. And just a nice compact galley. You know, you could easily uh, boil a kettle, prepare a few sandwiches, prepare a couple of basic meals. And if you are out on the boat for the weekend or staying overnight, you've got enough space with the fridge and stuff to... Uh, to supply the boat for uh, for short stays on the water. Forward of that then, we have the helm station with a nice wrap around helm seat and flip up bolster. So you can stand at the helm or you can sit there and you've got this elevated footrest as well. Um, and then a really well equipped helm with everything that you would need on a boat of this size for coastal cruising. So that includes Garmin chart plotter. We've got a Suzuki multi-gauge here. We've got a standard Horizon VHF radio. We've got a, a bow thruster, so it's very easy to control the bow on the boat and, and berth it. And then you've got your switch panels here for your all your bits and bobs, builds, pumps, water pumps, wipers, navigation lights, screen washes. And uh, you get the troll control for your Suzuki outboard as well. Now, now we are going to shoot a full virtual sea trial video of this boat. Um, where we're going to put it on the water, show you how it performs underway and uh, we'll go through the dash probably in a bit more detail on that one as well. So stay tuned to the channel. If you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications, you will get notified whenever the Sea Trail video goes live, hopefully in the next week or two. And um, that will show you how the boat performs underway. But yeah, we'll, um, we'll go through that. But it is a very nice, comfortable helm station. Great visibility all the way around. You've got this sliding side window here so it's easy to communicate with your crew or just get a breath of air blowing through the cabin. You can also open this roof light as well. And uh, whenever you're out in nicer days, you can get a nice flow of air through the boat. But anyway, I'll not spend too much longer talking about the helm because we'll do that on the sea trail. So there's a couple of other nice little touches on this boat that are fairly minor, but whenever you're, like most of the time I'm dealing with boats that are probably five, six plus years old, and you just don't find these little features. So it's always nice to see stuff like this. So we've got a USB or 12 volt power socket here with this little dash area, even having this dash area, most of the older boats of this style would just have a big dash molding that goes up here and you know, it's domed and you can't actually use it for anything. But they've thought about that and they've created this little recessed area where you can store odds and ends. You can let your phone lie there or an iPad or something and you can charge it up because you've got charge points right beside it. This one is little USB points. So you can plug your chargers straight into it, double USB. Um, and uh, yeah, I know it's not much, but it, it is nice to have these things. Your steering compass up there as well. And um, yeah, you get the little storage bin over here and you've got another 240 volt socket down there as well. So it is well thought out and it's a nice practical usable boat. And we things like that do enhance the usability of it. Forward of the helm then, we have this enclosed heads compartment. Now the all important enclosed heads compartment. This is a big deal on people for day boats and family day boats. And particularly since we've been through the COVID pandemic and like restaurants and bars have been closed, having a toilet on board the boat has been very important so that your passengers can remain comfortable 
whenever they get uh, the call of nature. This is a pump out Jabsco toilet. Again, I'm not uh, plumbed to a holding tank. So if you are using this boat on the lakes, it's plumbed to a holding tank. You can have it pumped out at a pump out station. Um, similarly, I think you can just swap the valve over and a pump overboard. Um, we've got a little sink in here as well. We've got a bit of storage behind the toilet. We have a little holding tank gauge and I don't know what this works goes. Turn that off quickly. That's the mass reader pump. So if you want to discharge that tank to see, that's your mass reader pump. Um, so you can discharge it overboard or have it pumped out of the pump out station. Bit of storage under the sink. The whole compartment is all lined and uh, molded non skid in the floor. It is fairly compact in there, but it does the job. And if you need the toilet, you'll be delighted to have it there. So nice little compact heads compartment, really is a nice added feature in these boats. And then finally, we have the V-berth area up forward. So we've got our filler cushions stored in here at the minute for the sun pad out the back and for the dinette area. You've also got this little triangular filler piece that goes in here. And then that makes this area up in a nice big double berth. You got an open port light there, a little curtain, screening it off at the minute. An overhead light. Um, yeah, not much to say about it in here. It's a great area for storage during the day. And as I said, if you are staying on board, a nice big double berth. Piles of storage underneath here as well. All lined, fiberglass lined. So you can store all sorts of gear up in this forward area cushions are perfect head lining it's all wiped clean you know there's no soft headline it's all fiberglass liner so it's very easy to keep clean and it's all in absolutely perfect condition so nice forward feed birth area in perfect condition and then last but not least we have some service access and more storage underneath the floor that's a little washer bottle for the windscreen washer jets and then a huge big storage bin down in there and then back here, we have access to our holding tank, Seacox, you can see everything in here is like brand spanking new, toilet uh, inlet, discharge, and then underneath the, uh, the aft cockpit deck, we've got more storage in here, we've got our shore power lead, another fender in there, fresh water tank, your twin battery set up in this boat. She's got a twin battery system. Again, another upgrade on this one. And then you've got your fuel tank that lives in behind that area there. So this boat is every bit as nice behind the scenes as it is uh, in the visible areas. And uh, yeah, it's amazing what they can cram in to a seven meter hull. So there you go. That's our 2021 Beneteau Antares 7 with the Suzuki 150 outboard. A huge spec, probably unmatchable spec, with only 17 hours on the clock, complete with the trailer and all the extras. Um, it's a fabulous boat, very well suited to this part of the world if you're looking for a nice day cruiser or something that you can go and spend the odd weekend on board. Um, enough power on tap to pull a few water toys with the kids and great protection from the elements with the fixed wheelhouse and the additional camper covers in this one makes it perfectly suited to this part of the world. Um, this boat's like brand new, it has a huge spec level and um, yeah, we welcome any inspection, survey or sea trail. If you're interested in the boat, please don't hesitate to get in touch. We don't expect it to hang around very long, so please don't hesitate to get in touch. You're welcome to come and have a look at it. If you've got any questions, give me a call on the number at the top of the webpage. Send me an email to sales at gulfstreamshop.com or fill out the callback request form on this page of the site and I will contact you at a time that's convenient. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. I hope you find the video useful. If you're enjoying this review and you want to be kept up to date with all the boats that we have coming to the market, one of the best ways to do that is by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications and then you get notified every time that we publish a new video review and that'll be a new boat coming to the market. Um, we do showroom tours like this. We also do sea trials as well, virtual sea trials. So there will be a virtual sea trial of this boat coming up in the very near future, probably in the next week or so, where we take the boat, put it on the water, put it through its paces, show you exactly how it performs. You can see from the, from the helm seat how quickly the boat gets on, on plane, what speed it cruises at, how much fuel it burns at cruising speed, what the flat out 
wide open throttle speed, again, what the fuel consumption is like at that speed, and just get an idea of the sort of noise levels, the visibility, all that type of stuff. Um, we do our best to try and demonstrate exactly um, how the boats are condition-wise and what they're like to live with. So if you do enjoy that, you find it useful, subscribe to the channel and you'll get a lot more content like this.